Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your host and contestant <laughs> in these uh in these puzzle rounds. Super Mario Galaxy, bro. Um, I think we're all set, so let's get started with the show. You're here. I'm here. My headphones aren't working. Uh, but hopefully you're getting some sound. Sorry, I got distracted there for a second. Can't let down your guard in the chess game, though, bro, right? Unbelievable. How about... Uh, uh, sneaky. Gotta look at the bishop. Kate the bishop. Hawkeye reference. Mm. Here's my thought. <laughs> um, there's my thought for that one. Um, did you know that Canada is south of Detroit? I thought that was a bit of a cheesy fun fact, so I kind of am not actually doing that. And then your quote is, uh, I don't know what is going on here, your quote is, I, 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 I. that's not your quote, chill, chill, mm. I see a couple spicy options, I think this is spicier, you go here, oh you got me in check, Ooh, sneaky, stinky, always take, to take puzzle, I knew it, to take puzzle, you just take, take, take free pieces, yeah, that's what we should call it, a free piece puzzle, sounds like I'm doing a three piece puzzle, sometimes you say it like three, like free, or is that just me. Okay. What are we doing? I don't know. I really uh, don't know. Mm. My gut says, put her there. My gut was correct. Good job, gut. So the quote was like, even if the world crumbles to pieces, I'm still going to bake some cookies. And I was like, I don't understand. So my interpretation of it um, said, like, you're still going to plant seeds. I think it was plant a tree, not bake cookies. Here's my thought. Okay. Try not to think so much, Galaxy Bro. Okay. Okay, take it easy. All right. Here's what you want to do like it is. Hey, wait, I didn't get to do it. Alright, let's see what we got here. So your real fun fact, and this was true as of December of last year, and you'll see why that's important in a minute. What in the world did I do? I was trying to sneak it around the side. Gotta look at the diagonals, bro. Okay. Um, is that there's a 137 year old tortoise that was born in 1832 138 year old tortoise I gotta check my math now up I don't see what, what we're doing but I appreciate appreciate the thought there and to be quite honest with you, at the very least. And this, I'm pretty sure we were about to solve. Up, right. Oh, you don't take. You let them take. So that way you still get the checkmate. Clever, clever, clever. Okay, so we actually may not have gotten that one. Um, let me double check my maths here. Maths. 
Oh, 187. That would make more sense. Born in 1832. And he lived... Apparently it's a male tortoise known as Jonathan. So keep your eyes out for Jonathan if you're in the Atlantic Ocean on the island of St. Helena. He's been living there since 1882. I don't know what he was doing for the first 50 years of his life, though. That's a whole other question. From 1832 to 1882. Or how we know about this guy is the other question. That's pretty wild. Just like, why did Google naming itself after the number instead of back rub not keep the same spelling as the number? These are the questions that we <laughs> ask ourselves every day. All right, thank you very much for watching. I got to stop <laughs> for multiple reasons. And uh, hopefully we'll Super Mario Galaxy see you later.